Hello Scorpio, I'm here to give you insight for the month of October. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I was picking up on really cheerful energy in the month of October. Some of you could be celebrating a birthday. So happy birthday, Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio, Scorpio. I was hearing coming into your own as well. What's going on with Scorpio in the month of October? Scorpio, Scorpio. Some of you could be desiring happiness. Some of you could be desiring to come into your own. I was hearing getting situated. I was hearing stability as well. Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, the high priestess popped out. Okay, some of you Scorpios could be a high priestess. Okay, so um, it could be very psychic, very intuitive. Some of you could be readers as well. Okay, seers, oracles. I also see um, in the month of October, you're going to be utilizing your intuition as well. I do also see that some of you Scorpios could be uh, obviously hearing a hiatus. Some of you could be spending some time in solitude. Um, but not really. I don't know if that makes sense. That this is what I was hearing. Spending time in solitude, but not really. Okay, maybe you're you're not connecting with people. Maybe you are not on social media anymore, or just maybe disconnecting from the masses, disconnecting from people, but still kind of checking in here and there. It's kind of like stilt, like being in stilt mode. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here, but I'm um, really tapping into your intuition. Okay, you're encouraged to trust your intuition at this time. Okay, I do see that some of you uh, Scorpios could be anticipating some change. Okay, um, it's, it seems like you're focused on something. You're looking at something that you've, it's like you're already aware of whatever this is. Okay, that's before you, that's, that's in front of you. Okay, I was hearing that you've been anticipating this as well. Like, look at her eyes. Very intense here. I was hearing, I knew you would come. Okay, maybe you have been anticipating the arrival of someone. Okay. What else is going on with Scorpio in the month of October? October, what's going on with Scorpio? I was hearing prophetic dreams. Um, you could be dreaming a lot in the month of October. Okay. Receiving prophecy through dream. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Oh, I don't like that card. Well, Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling left out in the cold. Uh, um, it could be fearing setbacks or fearing... Um, um, financial loss. Some of you could have um, experienced some uh, financial loss, some type of setback here. Okay. Um, I was hearing downgrading, downsizing. Some of you could have uh, been downsizing. It could have been maybe downsizing from a home into an apartment, something like that. There seems to be some type of setback. Okay. You're feeling, um, alone for some of you. You could feel alone. You could feel somewhat isolated as well. Um, alienated for some of you. Okay. Uh, maybe someone, yeah, maybe someone has made you feel alienated. Okay. Uh, I was also hearing that there, like, maybe someone's not reaching out to you, something like that. Okay. Um, the Five of Pentacles is um, also a card about losing faith, feeling alone in the world. So there could have been a situation that has taken place, whether in your recent past or in the month of October. This could be a flare up, you know, uh, an, an incident that doesn't, that doesn't last too long. But um, it just feels like being alone in the world. OK, uh, it could have been that this is you withdrawing. OK, this is you um, withdrawing. Okay, maybe withdrawing from the world, withdrawing from a situation or for someone. Okay, but the Five of Pentacles, I man, it does talk about money. So there could have been some financial loss or maybe you're not happy with the work that you're doing. Maybe you feel like you should be getting paid more than what you're actually having to do or put up with. Okay. I was hearing like a financial loss or something like that. Okay, but there's a bounce back here with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So there is a, a bounce back here, definitely night and day and look behind her. Okay. Right here, a little circle here. 
little aura. So after this period of isolation or setback, I see that you're bouncing back again, okay? Financially, um, this is financial freedom as well, I see here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, it doesn't just talk about working hard, putting in the hard work and reaping the rewards. You know, it doesn't just talk about that, but it also talks about being confident, feeling good, smelling good. OK, it's this is an energy of I have arrived. OK, this could be a person that you're focused on. This could be a Virgo. This could be Taurus Capricorn. OK, it could be even a Sagittarius. OK, you could it could be that you're desiring this person. You desire to have this person. OK, you could be this person and maybe the other person you're dealing with is desiring to have you to be with you. OK. I also see here if you're willing, if you're wanting to get out of this five of pentacles energy, you're needing to tap into this nine of pentacles energy. Okay, it's putting in the hard work. Okay, especially if you are experiencing any type of financial setbacks, what can you do about the situation? Or if you're not happy with this job that you're in and what you're doing, what can you do? Some of you are encouraged to go into business for yourself. Some of you could already be in business. And so therefore, maybe you had like a little drought here and you're going to be coming out of this drought here. I see. Okay, you're going to be coming out of this drought. All right. It may take a little bit of time, but you're going to come out of this drought. You have to keep your uh, a positive money mindset. You have to trust and believe you're going to come out of this energy, okay? This financial drought, okay? So I because I do see it here. Um, what else am I seeing? I was also hearing feeling secure within yourself. There is an energy of feeling codependent. Um, some of you Scorpios may feel, and this is for some of you, not all of you. Uh, may feel like you're not happy until, unless you have someone, okay? And I can understand that, but you should be happy no matter what, you know? Um, you know, wanting to have somebody in our life is a great thing, somebody that we can grow old with, old with but the reality is, is that this person that we're wanting is an addition to our life, okay? It, it, it doesn't mean that they're the, how, how can I say this? The world shouldn't have to revolve around this person, okay? You should have your own happiness, okay? Your own stability, okay? It's just, a, it's just an energy of like some type of codependency. So some of you are needing to step out, be more confident within yourself. See yourself as someone who has something to offer, okay? All right. And not just someone that has something to offer, someone that is confident, someone that is um, stable, stable on their own two feet. OK, and it can be tough, too, because, you know, sometimes we just we do it all on our own and we may need some help. We may need some assistance for some of you. It may be a call for you to ask for assistance if you're needing that. Six of Pentacles. Oh, beautiful. So absolutely, you're getting a return here, Scorpio. Um, financially, things are looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, okay? I'm hearing um, you're getting what you have put in. So some of you have been working very hard, and you're starting to see the rewards, okay? You're starting to reap the rewards. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor as well. Um, I also see with the Six of Pentacles, you know, they're... they're there is a scale here. So there could be question about time and effort. Okay, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone or in a situation where maybe um, the situation's not really fair. Maybe you're putting in a lot of work and you're not getting, um, how can I say this? You're putting in a lot of work, but you're not getting paid the money that you should, okay, for what you're doing. All right, I do see that. So it can be um, an issue for some of you, for others of you. Um, I do see this as a raise. Some of you could be getting a raise, um, either getting a, a, a job offer or a raise. I really feel like this could be a raise here, okay? Um, with this raise, it's gonna be more, um, more work, okay? So uh, with this raise, you're going to have to do more things, more responsibility. I do see that here. Okay. Um, I also am hearing home work-life balance. So some of you are needing to balance that out. Some of you could just be working 
overworking yourself and being bogged down by um, like job tasks. So there needs to be um, balance. Okay, there needs to be a work home life balance. I see. What else am I getting? Mm -hmm. I was hearing you get what you paid for. Okay, so <laughs> so some of you could have purchased something and, and maybe it didn't turn out uh, how you thought it would. Okay, so you're kind of getting what you paid for and it could have been like a service, like services rendered. Maybe you um, paid for services and it wasn't to your expectations. Okay. Page of Swords. So you could be spying on someone or someone could be spying on you I also see the page of swords um, and this actually this card was in the same position as the Gemini reading or in the Gemini reading so you could be dealing with the Gemini or have Gemini in your chart okay for this page of swords this is um, about information this is um, learning as well okay the page of swords is a forever student excuse me oh gosh um, so the Page of Swords is a forever student. So you're being encouraged to learn from your situation, to learn from your experiences. Your experiences are going to make you stronger, okay? But you have to be open to this. I'm hearing also that some of you Scorpios can be a bit stubborn, which I can understand that because, you know, Scorpio, you are a fixed sign. You know, you're not too open to change. Some of you may be, especially if you have mutable signs in your chart. But um, uh, some of you, for the most part, are not really open to change. So... Um, it's a call for you to um, be open to change. Try not to be so stubborn. Be willing to learn from your experiences, even learning from others. Okay, you don't have to always agree with everybody uh, or agree with what someone says, but be willing to put yourself in other people's shoes to learn, um, learn from the experience. Okay. Um, I was also hearing a judgment. Okay, some of you could be getting a message regarding a judgment. Some of you could be dealing with the court system. I know I don't see uh, the justice card here, but I do see the scales. So um, I don't know why I was hearing bond, like paying a bond or something. Okay, or, or some paying some type of fee. Okay, Scorpio, I'm seeing that here. Some of you could have been in jail or something or seen, uh, knew somebody in jail. Okay, because this feels like jail type energy. Okay, this is like being in the hole and then finally emerging, um, overcoming. Not just overcoming, but getting out of jail. Okay, so you could be getting news about that. A message coming through about your release. All right. Could have been uh, a situation dealing with like uh, probation, something like that. This is not for all Scorpios, okay? But this is what I'm picking up. Um, but the Page of Swords, it's a young energy as well. So this could be um, focus on a child, okay? There could be some focus on a child here. There could be a child that can be going through a rebellious stage. They're trying to come into their own. They're kind of taking a walk on the wild side and, and, and maybe you... Um, are concerned about that okay um, I was hearing don't judge me okay this person this page of swords is saying don't judge me maybe you're not wanting to be judged or maybe you're encouraged not to judge your child okay or this younger person and it's kind of hard to do that especially if they're f fucking up and trying to rebel it's kind of hard to do that but it's also important to be understanding okay be understanding be open to communication. Have open communication. What else is going on with Scorpio? I don't know Scorpio. This seems kind of like... Uh, uh, ooh. This seems kind of... Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of you had to disappear because there were some things going on with your finances going on with like work and stuff like that and you needed to step away for a while but now it's like you have emerged okay you're back like you never left the nine of wands the nine of wands is about perseverance okay it's a card about being tore up from the floor up okay i was hearing all my life i had to fight miss sophia 
Okay, Miss Sophia saying all my life I had to fight. Okay, so for some of you, uh, all your life you had to fight. Some of you had to fight to stay on top. Some of you had to fight to succeed. Okay, and it's not physically fighting. Okay, you exerted a lot of energy to get to where you needed to be. All right, or you're, or, or you're encouraged to um, not give up. Okay, you're encouraged to not give up. Especially if you know where you want to be, especially if you have goals in mind, you're encouraged not to give up. Okay. Um, the Nine of Wands definitely is an energy of feeling defeated. Okay. There could have been a message that came through that made you feel defeated, or a message that came through that made you feel, um, what's the word? victorious okay i know it's not the six of wands but this is an energy of oh my god i exerted so much energy i put up a fight i didn't give up and i'm still standing strong it's like an energy of that okay this message has made you stronger okay this this message has lit a fire within you okay or under you some of you could um this card is could be a defensive card. I mean, it's not like the Seven of Wands, but this is just somebody who's ready for whatever, even if they are struggling, even if they are tore up from the floor up. Okay, it's like there. This is the energy of being ready for whatever. Okay, the World card. So completion. This is experience as well. This is the last card in the Major Arcana. So you've been through a lot, Scorpio, but things are coming together. Things are now complete. You're feeling whole, okay? Um, with the world card, um, this is closing a chapter here. I see that a chapter has been closed. A cycle has ended here with you, um, Scorpio. This is a closed chapter and an ending of a cycle. And this is feeling at peace. I'm hearing laying to rest. You're laying something to rest, okay? Um, Okay. This is laying something to rest here. And this is like an energy I was hearing like resting and peace. Okay. Hopefully this is not you losing someone. Okay. If you have, I'm very sorry to hear, but this is the energy of resting in peace. Now you're able to rest in peace. Now you're able to close this chapter so you can start a new chapter. Okay. Wow. The nine of swords. Okay, this is anguish. This is mental anguish. This is stress. This is worrying. Okay, this could be also just as simple as staying up late at night and <laughs> scrolling all day and night and you're needing to give it a rest. Okay, you need to rest. <laughs> all right. The Knight of Swords is agony. This is pain. This is suffering as well. Okay, some of you could have laid something to rest. Okay, or maybe even laid someone to rest. Um possibly not for all of you and there are times where you're just having this anxiety this worrying this stress okay and this is an energy of just being completely um terrorized by your thoughts and your mind here okay some of you are needing to give it a rest there could be a, a, a situation that you're worrying about uh, that you're needing to give a rest. You need to let it go. Okay, put an end to it. I kept hearing, give it a rest. I was hearing, you can only do what's within your control, uh, Scorpio. That's what I'm hearing. Um, it could be that you're giving your time and effort to someone or, or something, and it could be very taxing on you mentally okay maybe you're not getting your fair share it, it could be that uh, it could be that you're working tirelessly you're you know you're working late things like that okay so you need to get some sleep for sure scorpio try to get some sleep um also um manage your anxiety levels okay what are you needing to do to balance the scales what are you doing are you over exerting your time and energy um and if you are doing that it's not going to be healthy for you it's not going to be good for you in the long run you're needing to uh, create a sense of balance okay 
Ask for help if you're needing to. Delegate if you need to. Okay. But some of you Scorpios, I feel like it just seems like for some of you, it feels like you can just do it on your own. Okay. You don't need anybody. Okay. Like I can do it myself, but at the same time, you're wearing yourself out. Okay. Um... What else am I seeing with this Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords kind of just threw everything off a bit. Some of you could have anxiety or, or stress about maybe going into business for yourself. Or maybe um, there is anxiety about you just stepping out. And when I say stepping out, maybe you're, I don't know, for some of you may have a hard time like shining your light, being your true authentic self. Okay, that's for some of you. I was hearing anxiety about acceptance as well. What else am I getting from this reading? Huh? Yeah, I do feel like some of you guys are getting what you want, but there's just some stress and anxiety that's tied to it, you know? So it's important that you, um, you know, you balance the scales here, you know? Balance is definitely the key here for the month of October for you guys. Okay, we're going to pick the 8th card because the 8th house belongs to you, Scorpio. I'm going to be using the Angel, uh, Archangel Oracle cards and also the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. The 8th house belongs to you, Scorpio. So this is the house of sex, death, joint finances, and taxes, so they say. All right, 8th card, 8th card, 8th card. I don't know, I was hearing that song by Kelly Clarkson. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Dance a little longer. I don't know the I don't know the lyrics, but There's three number nines here. That is crazy. Three number nines. My dog's annoying the hell out of me. Get out. It's whining. Go. Random. Um, three number nines. And nine is the card of nearing completion. So maybe you, some of you guys have went into business for yourself or you're working on a project and it's like you're working tires, tirelessly. Maybe this project is you. Maybe you're trying to work on yourself, okay? And it could just wear you out. This nine of swords can just be a flare up, you know, just experiencing anxiety. So maybe you're needing to manage that better. But uh, you're, it's like you're nearing a cycle, okay? Nearing an end of a cycle, And it's going to be really important for you. Not nine. I want eight. Eight. Okay. That was the eighth card. Um, but it's a learning experience. So don't forget, you know. While you're on this earth, while you're on this plane, you're, you're in, going to be in a classroom. The classroom of life, okay? Learn from your experiences. Learn from your situation. Okay. I was also hearing that nothing lasts forever. Okay. Nothing lasts forever. But it's important that you make the best of it. All right. Utilize your intuition in the month of October to help guide you. Take time out for yourself if you're needing to gather your thoughts. If you're needing to... Um, Obtain a sense of like balance, you know, take time out for yourself. Don't be afraid to do that. Eighth card, eighth card for Scorpio. Eighth card for Scorpio. Some of you, um, I was hearing, um, some of you Scorpios could have a lot of responsibility on you at this time. Um, I also was hearing like... It's important for you to take care of your health, especially uh, during this time, because anxiety, stress can really compromise your health, cause issues. So be really mindful of that. Okay, it's eighth card. 
What else am I getting here? Mm. Some of you could have um, been in a relationship um, with someone and maybe you were treated unfairly. Okay, um, but it's like it's this is the energy of stepping out. Some of you could be experiencing um, like some um, like anxiety, stress connected to your past life. Okay, and this can be just a flare up. Life review. Wow, life review. Archangel Jermiel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And we're just talking about balance. Okay. So spirit is definitely coming through. So let's just see here if there's any additional message. Life review. There we go. Life review. It takes courage to look at your life, yet if done with compassion and a sense of humor, you'll grow and learn from a life review. I'll help you take stock of where you've been. We'll look at what you've learned and how these lessons are a valuable asset for today and tomorrow. We'll also notice life patterns that aren't serving your highest good and we'll take steps to release those patterns. I love that for you. Okay, it says work with Archangel Jermiel. One of Jermiel's purposes is to help newly crossed over souls review their lives. He also helps those who are still living to make life reviews. Take time soon to be alone and ask Jermiel to help you review where you've been what you've learned, what patterns you're already, excuse me, what patterns you're ready to release and what you're grateful for in your life. Beautiful. Okay, next card is nature. Ooh, maybe some of you are needing to get, to get out in nature. Maybe some of you are needing to um, be comfortable in the skin that you're in. Okay, embracing your true authentic self. You know, the Nine of Pentacles does talk about being out in nature, being out in the elements. So maybe you're needing to get outside more. Okay, Scorpio, get outside of yourself possibly. Maybe you've been internalizing things a bit. Maybe you've been isolating too much. And some of you could have had a good reason to isolate yourself, distance yourself. But maybe it's a call for you, for some of you to come out of your shell now. Okay to be comfortable in the skin you're in, maybe to get out in nature, connect, connecting with nature spirits. So let's see here what it says, nature. Matcha. Oh Lord, so much to read. Um, okay, I'm gonna just read this part. The presence of this card, the presence of this card invites you to realign your energies through deepening your affinity with nature. Perhaps you have been overwhelmed by the pressures of daily life or are recovering from a big ordeal. You may feel lost in the details or trapped in a relentless cycle of habitual thoughts or patterns of relating that no longer serve you well. In any level, evaluate your integration with nature and allow your intuition to reveal how you would most benefit from her healing elixir. I love it. So some of you may need to get into like um, herbology, okay, herbal medicine, okay. It also was talking about, um, where, did, where did I see that? Uh, this is, it talks about you may feel lost in the details or trapped in a relentless cycle of habitual thoughts. Okay. So these habitual thoughts could just be plaguing you. Okay. And some of you are needing to lay it to rest. Okay. Learn from your past. Okay. Learn from your experiences. It makes you stronger. So this is the end of your reading, Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you... 
I keep, I keep wanting to say if you're interested in a reading because I'm not doing personal readings. Um, <laughs> either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.